Well, happy Sunday. It's time for the weekend video. Get ready. Hey, today I am going to address another point that Tim Richards makes in his letter against Mike Williams and against the gospel. And um, Jim repeats quite, quite a few times um, a statement about what he says grace is, and he, and he repeats that grace is uh, God's ability in us to overcome sin. And um, there's a little story behind that. Back in the word, when Mike was in the Word of Faith days and when Jim and Mike were um, often speaking together, Mike had a series out there. Uh, a tape, uh, it was a tape series, and it was called Grace, God's Ability. Now, Jim took that statement and he ran with it and started preaching that grace was God's ability for to overcome sin it was it was God's ability to live right and here's the issue Jim himself says we are no no longer under law which is correct because according to Paul the law was fulfilled and abolished he knows that so he says we are no longer under law however it, the the uh, elephant in the room here is sin and um, this whole issue of sin is uh, defined in Jim's mind by obeying the commandments in, in the Bible the laws and commandments in the Bible which is law and he is saying that grace is God's ability for us to do that and not all the commandments because, um, you know, he eats pork and stuff like that. So nothing, none of those commandments or, you know, um, it, it's just the argument is he's actually got to weave around this to, to and it really makes his whole, whole argument, all 22 pages of it fall apart and it, this is the one thread that you can pull out of this argument and it makes it all just unravel. It's the sin issue. Um, he says grace is, is God's ability in us to overcome sin, to live a righteous life, to obey the commandments. Now, what is sin? Now, I like to remind people a lot of times um, that John the Baptist said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world when he saw Jesus. And he said, Look, there's Jesus, the Lamb of God. He takes away the sin of the world. Well, he didn't say that lightly. That was the prophet John the Baptist saying, Here he is. He's here to do this. He's here to take away the sin of the world. He's the Lamb of God. What does the Lamb of God mean? It means that he's a sacrifice. What is the sin of the world? That's the sin of Adam that condemned us all. Um, original sin, the way it's taught in most denominations, it's called original sin. It's the sin of Adam that, that condemned all of humanity. And so that sin, John the Baptist said, Jesus came to take it away. And... Jesus, uh, not only uh, not only was Jesus here to do that, Jesus was here to fulfill the old covenant, fulfill the law, and fulfilling it means bringing it to its conclusion, to its end, ending it, and establishing the new covenant. But let's get back to Jesus being the Lamb of God, the sacrifice. In Hebrews chapter 10, it talks about how Jesus was the perfect sacrifice because up until Jesus, the Jews had been sacrificing all kinds of animals. They'd been making sin, sin offerings and all kinds of sacrificial offerings. And the sin offering only covered the sins of the people for a year. And then they'd have to repeat it. And so Jesus, being the Lamb of God, he was the perfect sacrifice according to Hebrews chapter 10. 
and his sacrifice um, took away the commandments. There is therefore no more law, no more commandments. And, and Paul said, because there is no law, there is no transgression, meaning there are no sins anymore. And the and Hebrews says that there is also, because Jesus was the perfect sacrifice that took away the sin of the world and took away the, the commandments that condemned people for sins, that was all taken away by Jesus Christ at the cross. And it says, there is therefore no more sacrifice. Now, according to Jim, people are still sinning in the eyes of God. Well, at least in Jim's eyes, but not in the eyes of God. And here's why. It's because there is no more sacrifice. If people were still sinning, there would still be sacrifices. We would still have to have them. But there is no more sacrifice, which means sin has been taken away. It's not an issue. And that is revolutionary, folks. I know. Have a revolutionary week.